Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Eva Polak and today we will explore three essential impressionist photography techniques. Soft focus, multiple exposures and reflections. But before we start, I've got a challenge for you. Grab your camera and take a quick shot of the most ordinary object near you. Trust me, by the end of this video, you will see that object in a whole new light. Now, let me share my first adventure into Impressionist techniques. Imagine this. There I was, in the city, armed with my camera. I felt excited, but completely out of my depth. My photos were about as artistic as a stick figure. Awkward and not very interesting. But the thing about failing is that it helps you learn how to get better. Stick with me and I promise you will be creating stunning images in no time. Let's start with soft focus, a technique that adds a dreamy, ethereal quality to your images. Much like the delicate brush stroke of an impressionist painting. To achieve this effect, you will want to use a wide aperture, like f1.8 or f2.8. This creates a shallow depth of field, allowing your subject to stand out while the background fades into a soft blur. Notice how this gentle blur mimic the softness often seen in Impressionist paintings, making the subject almost glow against the backdrop. It's like magic, but better, because you are the one controlling it. Now, if you want to take this effect to the next level, and truly channel your inner Monet, you will want to try one of these. It's a soft focus filter, and trust me, it's about to become your new favorite tool. It takes that gentle blur we love in Impressionism and makes it even more dreamy. It's perfect for romantic portraits, delicate flower close-ups, or any scenes where you want to emphasize mood over sharpness. Now, let's get a little wild with multiple exposures. Multiple exposures involve layering several images on top one another to create a surreal painterly composite. This technique is ideal for creating a sense of movement or depth in your pictures, as the overlapping elements can blend together to mimic brush strokes on a canvas. You can experiment with different subjects and lighting conditions, layering images of the same scene, or combining completely different subjects to create a unique abstract effect. Many modern cameras have a built-in multiple exposure function, or you can achieve this effect in post-processing using photo editing software. The result is an image that feels alive with a dynamic interplay of light, color and texture. Fun fact! I once accidentally left my camera on multiple exposure mode at a friend's wedding. Let's just say the bride wasn't thrilled with her ghostly portraits. Lesson learned? Always check your settings. Our final technique, reflections, it's a powerful way to capture how light interacts with different surfaces, especially water. This approach can transform a simple scene into something extraordinary. Reflections offer a unique way to explore symmetry and abstraction. When you photograph reflections, you are capturing the subject and how it interacts with and responds to its surroundings. 
The golden hour is an ideal time to photograph reflections, as the soft warm light create rich, vibrant colors and textures. The golden tones enhance the beauty of the reflections, making them more visually striking. But reflections aren't just about water. They are all around us, waiting to be captured on various surfaces. From shiny metallic objects to glass windows, each reflective surface has its unique way of bending and scattering light, creating fascinating visual effects. Metal surfaces like chrome or polished steel can create crisp, mirror-like reflections, especially under bright light. These surfaces contrast light and shadow dramatically, turning everyday objects into striking abstract compositions. Glass, whether it's a window pane or skyscraper facade, it's another powerful medium for reflections. Its ability to reflect and transmit light simultaneously allows for a dynamic blend of the interior and exterior worlds. Position yourself at different angles to play with how the light bounces off and travels through glass. Even small puddles on concrete or glossy surface can provide interesting reflective opportunities. The texture of the surface combined with reflected light from the sky or nearby objects can add depth and complexity to an image. When photographing reflections, think beyond water. The world is full of reflective surfaces that with the right light and perspective can create captivating otherworldly images. Pay attention how the light interacts with these materials and you will discover endless creative possibility. So here is a challenge. Remember that ordinary object you photographed earlier? Try finding a reflective surface and shooting it again. You will be amazed at the difference. That's all for today. I hope you are feeling inspired to try these techniques in your own photography. Thanks for watching and until next time, Keep capturing the beauty in every moment. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more behind-the-scenes insights into Impressionist photography. Until next time, keep chasing the light.